Hey everyone, it's Stephanie here with a video from My Favorite Things. For this video, I'm going to be recreating these two cards that design team member Keisha created using the new Inside and Out Stitched Stacks Dynamics from the February 2016 release. These come in our normal four different shapes, rectangle, square, circle, and oval. And today I'm going to be concentrating on the rectangle and the circle ones to create these cards. So I'm going to start off first with this white cardstock panel. I went ahead and already die cut it with a stitched rectangle die from one of the blueprint sets. And now I'm going to take the largest of the inside and out stitched rectangle stack dies, and I'm going to position it right in the center of that piece there. And I used a little piece of tape just to make sure it didn't shift. And then I'm going to run that through my die cut machine. And then when I'm finished here and I take the die off, you can see that I have stitch detail on both sides of the cut line. So that's what really makes these dies unique. I love that you can either use the negative or the positive piece and still get that great stitching detail. So now for this card, I'm actually going to use both pieces, and we're going to assemble them together to create a dimensional frame on the outside of the card, and then use the stitched inside panel to do the inside area of the card. So to add a little bit of detail first to that little um, cardstock panel from the inside, I went ahead and added Grout Gray ink to the Lots of Dots background stamp, which has just been released as part of this release. And I'm going to put that inside panel directly onto this background piece, or background stamp, sorry. And I'm going to evenly apply some pressure to this panel and get that ink completely transferred over onto that white panel. And then when I finish that, when I lift it off, you can see I have this great dot detail that's not too overpowering. It's a nice subtle pattern. The Grout Gray ink is one of my favorite inks to do any kind of subtle stamping that you want to see, but you don't really want to overpower the card. So... That's what I did here. And now what I'm gonna do is I have the outside frame kind of just positioned on top of my card base. It's not adhered down. Um, and I put the center piece inside and I have adhesive on that. And this just helps me to line this up perfectly so that I can get that center rectangle adhered exactly where I need it to be. And then I'm going to add foam adhesive to the outside piece. And this is just gonna allow it to be raised up off the card and make the card a little bit more dimensional when it's finished. So you can see there now I have it adhered. I have that great stitch detail on both pieces, but I have the outside panel um, or the inside panel adhered directly to the card base and then I have the outside frame piece on foam adhesive to kind of make them look like they're separate pieces even though we die cut them together. So now I'm going to add some detail to the middle area of the card and I'm using the third largest stitched um, circle inside and out stacks dynamics and I went ahead and cut this out of a white cardstock panel and we're going to use that negative panel for the second card so I'm going to set that aside and I'm just going to use the positive piece here which is the stitched circle and this is going to go in the center area of this card piece. Now before I do any adhering, I wanna do some die cutting from this stitch circle. So I just went ahead and took this um, nine heart die set that's in the Tag Builder 3 blueprint set, and I cut this directly out of that white circle. And you can see there I have those nine hearts there. And I also cut a second circle out of red cardstock and a couple of those hearts out of pink cardstock. And I'm going to use those to finish up this little heart circle that I've created. But before I do any adhering and add anything together, I went ahead and stamped my sentiment. I used the I Love You from the Whimsical Greeting stamp set and stamped that directly at the bottom. And then I used one of the little paint splatters from the Distress Pattern stamp set and stamped that directly over the I Love You. And it just gives a little bit of a distressed look, but still lets you see that sentiment. And now I added the circle onto the red cardstock piece and I added some of those pink hearts into some of the openings so that I have some red hearts and some pink hearts to kind of contrast underneath that circle. And then to adhere this on, I'm going to use foam adhesive again just so that the inside circle is the same height as the outside frame. And I adhered that directly into the center area to complete this card. So it's a very simple card, um, but it really shows how great these inside and out stitch stacks are to work together to create a fun card design. So now for the second card, I'm going to use that negative piece that I had from the first card. And I use the wonky stitched rectangle stacks on the outside of this piece just to give it a little bit of stitch detail. And then I'm adding the same sentiment and the same paint splattery um, stamp to the sentiment area. I added a little bit more of um, a part of that paint splatter just because I felt like it needed a little bit more splatter down on the right um, bottom piece of that card. 
So now I'm just going to go ahead and adhere everything to the card. The first thing I'm adding is a circle that I've die cut from the same Circle Stacks Dynamics. I use Grow Gray ink for a contrasting color, and I just adhered that directly inside the negative die cut piece. And now I'm adding a red heart that I've die cut from Wild Cherry Cardstock, and I used the Stitched Heart Stacks Dynamics to die cut that heart. And I'm going to go ahead now and add some flowers. These flowers were stamped and die cut using the Desert Bouquet stamp set. And I just did tone on tone stamping with Berrylicious cardstock and ink. And I'm adding these onto the card with foam adhesive. I have foam adhesive under both the heart and the large flower so that they're the same height off of the card. And then I also added some foam adhesive to the smaller flower to give it even more dimension. I think that when you have a cluster of images like this, it really adds to the overall look when you have stuff at different heights coming off of the card design. And then to finish it off, I'm going to add this little arrow with the heart in the center. This was die cut from the Tag Builder Blueprints 5 dynamic set, and I cut it from a piece of gold foil cardstock just to add a little bit of shine to this card design. I love the different colors and textures that Keisha used on her card design, and I loved recreating it. I just think it's so beautiful. And that's going to complete the cards using the inside and out stitch stacks dynamics. So thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you next time.